Hola, me llamo Carmen. Me llamo Sienna. And we're Curious Chicks. And today we're going to try some Peruvian goodies. So the first one we're going to try is called Toron de Doña Pepa. And Toron basically means nougat. Toron is also a confectionery that the Spanish, the Italians, the Filipino, and uh, Cuban uh, countries also have. But what makes it special to Peru is that they use anise seeds, which is like a licorice flavor. I know you don't like licorice. And uh, honey. I was walking through Lima and I saw this bakery and all she made were these huge sheets of these things. And I was like, what is that? When I asked the local, like, what kind of treats can I get that are very Peruvian, he mentioned this one and I was like, oh, I see these everywhere and they're packaged and they just look like a kind of a birthday cake. But uh, they just kind of enjoy it at any time of the year. But it, the origins of this particular treat um, goes back to a slave who's paralyzed and so she made this pilgrimage to Lima to worship the Lord of Miracles and um, so when she did she was actually cured and she was so happy and appreciative that she created this uh, dessert uh, which she named after herself which is kind of weird so she so now that's why in Peru they refer to it as Toron de Doña Pepa after her Seems like little kids would like it too because it's so yeah, colorful. It it's is. got these little balls and it's gooey and so colorful. Whoa. Ooh, it's just like looks really dense. How does one eat this? Ooh. See the honey? Oh. Oh, is that honey? Yeah, it's just like so like. Okay. Okay. Ready? Mm. Oh, I like mm. these um. Mm. I don't like those things on top. Mm. They're very hard. They're really hard to top. It's really dry. Cookie like like a shortbread cookie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's it's not too licorice-y, is it? I don't taste the licorice really. And it's not as sweet as it appears. I think it's sweet, but it's not overly sweet. Mm -mm. It's just the top portion mm -hmm. that's really sweet. It's good. It's just and it's very messy. But I think the messiness just makes oh. me not even want yeah. to eat it. I probably wouldn't eat all the little like trinkets on top, but trinkets. <laughs> but the cookie itself, that part's not bad. Actually, I think I would like it better if it wasn't in all these layers and it was just the individual layers that you could eat separately instead of one huge layer you have to take a big bite out of it. So they're kind of like that. logs. Yeah, I would rather just eat the log. So there's like logs, of each uh, layer is a log and then they like change the direction of mm. them and that's how it forms the layers. So that's why it's very messy and it just falls apart when you cut into it. Okay. Okay, well that was good. Let's move on. The next one we have is called King Kong and it is cookie filled with milk candy and fruit paste. Hmm. It doesn't look like anything on the package, but this looks like a PB&J sandwich, yeah. like a big one. And it's like a brick, yeah. pretty much. The way we have to cut it is not like this. It's like this. Mm. Oh yeah, it looks very to cut. nice, like sliced wow. bread. It looks pretty, oh, gorgeous. Like so it's that. it's more like the photo in the inside. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't say what fruit it is, huh? Oh. Orange, sweet potato, and pineapple. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. Well, well let's let's taste well, that it and see. Makes it. sense. Okay. All right. Cheers. Cheers. My goodness. I don't know if I like this. I don't know if I like it either. We both ate this this end. I haven't even tried this layer yet. What is that? It kind of tastes like a. This might be that. Sweet potato part. Oh, this one tastes like the pineapple. Oh yeah. Yeah. I didn't normally necessarily. It didn't scream pineapple to me when I eat ate it, it by itself, and then you get a better flavor. Because if you just What's eat that, it by then? itself, oh, this is probably the peanut. Oh. Mm. Yeah, it's not really peanut buttery. Oh. It tastes more like butter. Oh, I don't know what it is. I don't know. I can't finish this. I don't like the middle part. The pineapple part is okay. 
And the cookie part is actually kind yeah. of dry. Mm -hmm. and... It actually tastes a little stale. But maybe it, maybe it tastes better fresh. I uh, mean, like not as a packaged kind. Yeah, like, you know, they like make, homemade. They, yeah, homemade. Oh, I'm sure homemade tastes way better. I'm sure. It looked like a PB and J, and so I was kind of expecting something similar to that. It looks pretty in the picture. They yeah. always look pretty in the picture. Well, the next one are quinoa cookies. Take galleta con quinoa y frutos rojos. Mm. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, so Peru actually grows a lot of quinoa. They have over hundreds of different types of quinoa, mm -hmm. and it's a big food item in their diet. And so they don't eat a lot of meat, they eat a lot of grains and vegetables and stuff like that. So I thought it'd be fun to pick up some quinoa cookies since it's like what they do. And they actually don't export the quinoa that they grow. Really? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Try. Cookies. They're cute. They smell berry. They're good. They're good. They're they, nice. taste, they taste like something I've had before. Yeah. Hint of berry in it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I don't really taste the quinoa. Nope. I can see it. Mm -hmm. Little bits of quinoa in here. But it has a really nice crunchy cookie flavor. Mm -hmm. Is it like those Velveeta? Mm. Yes! Okay. It tastes just like that. There's a snack called Velveeta and I guess it's similar. Is it quinoa though? Um, but they have a very similar taste and flavor to that uh, and texture. So, uh, but I like them. Are these healthy for you? They seem like they would be healthy, but you tell me. That fat is... Added sugar is 15%? Is their palm oil, which is not good. That's not good. Yeah, the palm oil is probably not so great. I mean, it's a cookie, so it's not gonna be like the healthiest thing for you, but it's probably better than some of the other cookies out there. Well, another thing that I, I tried in, while I was in Peru that I uh, unfortunately couldn't bring back with me is something called an alfajor. But it's like a cookie with like a, a sweet filling, like a caramel center in it, very thin. They dip it in brown, uh, powdered sugar on one side and then the, the edges of it is like dipped in like a coconut kind of flake. So it's very, it was very good and messy as well because this is very crumbly kind of cookie, also kind of dry until you get to the center, which is a little bit pasty. And so it was very similar to these two, I have to say, but it was very good. The churros Ooh. were so amazing and they're not like the ones that you get here that are star shaped and long and thin. They were actually very doughy in the center and they kind of like tapered off on the ends and they were like thicker but shorter. And the inside has like a like a light, sweet paste or like a custard, depending on where you get it. And they dip it lightly in sugar on the outside. But that was, those were amazing and fresh and so cheap. They were one sole, which is like 30 some cents, American cents. And they were just amazing. But I couldn't bring those back, unfortunately. So I brought these and I hope, well, at least you like the cookies. <laughs> If you like this video, check out our other videos where we taste test food from all over the world. And please subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up. Adios. Adios.